What's up, everybody? It's me, B. Janae, and I'm just going to get straight into it. No need to hesitate. No need to beat around the bush. Duke loses to unranked Syracuse, and boy, was the game a battle. Speaking of battle, Tyus Battle was the man of the night for the Syracuse Orange. He pulled out all kinds of stops, all kinds of things to help those boys pull through. Now, let's go ahead and get into it, though. Trey Jones, of course, one of the best players on the team, aside Zion Williamson, hurt. Out indefinitely with a shoulder injury. Not sure exactly what the issue is right now. All we know is Coach K says he is out indefinitely with a shoulder injury. Now back to the rest of the game. Zion Williamson came out with 35 points. This kid is a monster. You know, many people thought he wasn't going to be able to do the same things he was doing while he was playing for a prep school in Spartanburg, South Carolina, but He's playing with the big boys in the NCAA and still doing that and some of what he did while he was playing in high school. Pretty amazing stuff, but it wasn't enough to defeat the Orange. They kept battling. They kept going for rebounds. They kept just fighting, fighting, fighting. And with that being said, that's how they came out with a 95-91 win. And get this. This is the first time... Top-ranked Duke has ever lost at home to an unranked opponent. Talk about history being made. Their record, 90-0. and 0. Well, guess what it is now? 90-1. and 1. So, shout-out to Syracuse. You know, um, people are saying that this may have been a fluke win. Other people are saying that with Trey Jones being hurt, this shows that Duke doesn't have the depth that people really think that they have. For me, it's still early in the conference season, so we have to wait and see. Um, Duke will take on Virginia this Saturday. We'll see how they play against them without Trey Jones and, and, and just go from there. But all in all, hey, man, it's, it's basketball. Basketball is a game of runs. Basketball is a game of showing who can do what they can do when you're in and when you're not in. So, hey, we'll see. Hats off to Syracuse, though, for pulling off the win.